Hey guys and gals, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is K6 Outdoors and my name is Kyle. I wanted to give you guys a little update here on the solar array and I know a lot of you have asked questions or have seen it and said, hey, is it working? Is it worth the money so far? So I wanted to give you guys a quick update. I'll run you through the Solar Edge app, which is the brand of inverter that we used on this solar array and it gave you a download how uh, you know how it's working this year. Is, is it meeting expectations and am I happy with the performance so far based on the amount of money I had to spend to get where I'm at? Stick around for this short video. So we've got the Solar Edge app fired up here and you can see down here in this section highlighted in blue, this is our total megawatt output, you know, megawatt hour output for the month of February. So this system put out 1,040 kilowatt hours of electricity or 1.04 megawatt hours. And if you look, I know I'll go ahead and turn that off here, and you go into digging a little deeper and see here, you know, we had some pretty good production days. You know, on the 25th, we had 70 kilowatt hours of production. And you can see down here on the lowest day, you know, 431 watt hours, which, you know, that's basically a full day of snow on top of the, the whole solar array. So I'll, big picture here, you know, for the entire month, we saw 1.04 megawatt hours of electricity produced and the way that my system was was um, built it was supposed to produce just less than a thousand so we overproduced by about you know there's about almost 100 watt uh, kilowatt hours of electricity and uh, you know we don't want to trust the app you know this the way this is set up is the solar edge is um, basically rated to to pr uh, track production metering so it is uh, it is very accurate and uh, you can kind of go by that. But yeah, so far, you know, we've produced quite a bit of power today. It's a nice sunny day and we're maxing out the system. And, um, but yeah, so far so good through the month of February. And it is performing slightly better than when it was planned to do. And my last month's bill was a whopping like $20. So you know, that's good. You know, with the $15 connection charge and the $5 of electricity we actually used. Um, because the billing cycle kind of falls over a little different. Um, the billing cycle overlaps a little different than the actual month production. So you'll see here on the screen, the actual, you know, 955 kilowatt hours is what I use during my billing period, which in the winter time I use quite a bit more electricity, um, than I normally would because I have an electric heater in the garage and such. So long story short, everything is working out well. We're producing power. We're seeing, you know, days where, you know, we're, we're following the trend of how much we're making. And, uh, you know, if you look at this on a, a weekly basis, I think the big thing to capture here is even on these days, you know, this this is like snow cover and snowy, really bad weather. We're still producing electricity, and you know, when the snow, the when we're not seeing any snow and you know, complete sun, you know, we're seeing some you know, higher production numbers as you would expect as the sun gets higher in the sky this time of year. So long story short, through the first you know month of the year, the system is really kind of overperforming just a little bit than what they were forecasting to do, which is always better than the opposite because. Well, if you have high expectations and it doesn't meet it, then it's never any good. Keep in mind, February and March and January are some, you know, I mean, we're in March right now, and we've had some atypical snowfalls. But as you saw on the chart, even when the solar array is completely covered with snow, it still produces just a little bit of power, which isn't very much, but it's still better than nothing. So I hope you guys found this uh, quick little video informative and helpful. Any questions on the solar array or anything in general, please put some stuff kind of below in the comment section. I'll be more than willing to answer any questions that I can and uh, maybe point you in the right direction. So thanks again for stopping in. I do appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not part of the YouTube family. Thanks again for stopping in. My name's Kyle. We'll catch you later. We'll see ya. Man, it's nice out today. Sunny? Ah, beautiful.